you'll see this one right here this is going to be a pretty large structure Okay. Right. Well, actually, let's not make that. Let's do this one. Uh, so if I can do this correctly. Okay, there you go. Identify the hybridization. SP2 all around. But inside this SP3, right? There's H here, H there, H there. H there, H there. Some of you guys are automatically going to say, oh, non-aromatic, there's sp3 hybridized atoms there. However, the overall molecule is considered aromatic, and we'll think of this piece as just being a substituent. So let's count it. We'll start here, making a little mark here. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 4n plus 2, right? Pi is equal to... 18 4n is equal to 18 right what can you plug in okay we can plug in some numbers 3 times 4 is 12 4 times 4 is 16 4 times 5 is 20 so this doesn't work 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14 4 times 4 is 16 plus 2 is again for n we're just plugging in numbers whole numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, into infinity, so that it could equal this. So it can't be decimal again. I'm gonna keep stressing that. So we plug in 4, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18, so this checks out. The whole thing is considered aromatic, okay? This is not non aromatic, okay? okay this is not non aromatic, okay? This molecule is aromatic. If you can find a piece on a really any type of structure, okay? If you find a small piece or a large piece that's aromatic, that makes the whole thing aromatic, regardless if there are sp3 hybridized um, atoms, okay? So, let's see. Are there, I'm going to do one more example, and that'll be it. I'll conclude the video. And um, let's look at this one right here. This will be it. Whoa, that looks pretty scary, huh? No need to fear, okay? This should be pretty easy. Again, same thing. Identify hybridization. SP2, right? Because there's an H here. And the only way this carbon can have a positive charge is only if it has a... only if it has three groups to it, okay? You guys can... to double check is do a little formal charge calculation, okay? You need three groups attached to a carbon atom in order to get a positive one charge. So that means that this atom here is sp2, 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 sp2. So non-aromatic, we move out of that way. We're in this category over here now, okay? So every atom is sp2 hybridized. Now we go on to this area, so we set so we do 4n plus 2 pi is equal to, um, we haven't figured that out yet, so 4n is equal to, figure that out yet, okay, so now we have to count the pi electrons. Well, there are no pi electrons here. Um, okay, so there's no pi electrons there. We have 2, 4. Some of you guys may confuse here, but this these pi electrons are not part of the overall ring, okay? Um, it can be confusing for a few people, like how, uh, how, why don't you include this? But it's not really included in the ring. It's not part of the overall ring, okay? Um, so it is two four, right? So we set the equal to four and four, right? So four n plus two pi is equal to four zero. Plug in zero for n. Two cannot equal four. Plug in one for n. 6 cannot equal 4. So, out of the question. Okay. Now, what about this piece here? We could plug in 0. That won't work. Plug in 1. 
4 times 1 is 4, 4 equals 4, so check. This is anti aromatic, and there you have it. Okay, yeah, that was a long video, that was a long series of videos, um, but nonetheless, it's very, very important for you guys to understand this and doing examples. Okay, so um, how about this? I'm gonna actually, I'm going to write an example here, draw an example, but. I'm not going to answer. I'm going to let you guys figure it figure it out. And on my on this video, I want you to comment and determine whether or not it is aromatic or not. So let me get my have some examples. Hold on one second. Let's see if I can confuse you guys for a second. So okay. Almost there. Okay. So uh, let's see what we can throw at you guys. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Here's the example. You guys tell me on my page, okay? Comment. So You have that, 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 okay, and you have that, this here, that is a nitrogen, like that, like that. with a okay let's put this over here as actually a positive charge and it's up to you guys now okay so you guys tell me is this aromatic or non aromatic so the question is for you guys to figure out arrow anti or is it non by answering this and getting it right you you should feel confident in this subject more. Okay, so good luck everybody. Um, that will conclude uh, this video. Um, it concludes all of aromaticity. So you guys should have a really concrete, solid understanding of this material. So if your professor throws any question at you, you know right away answer it. It should be immediate for you guys, automatic, aromatic, non-aromatic, anti-aromatic. Okay, so figure this question out. Post it as a comment on my video. Uh, and that'll be it. This is Mobile 12, and I'm signing out.